Friends, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm going to start this video off a little bit different than the way I usually do my other videos. I'm going to leave a mild disclaimer at the beginning of this video. This particular video, while there is a golden surprise inside this box, it does not contain any precious metals. Uh, this video is a little bit odd. It's not something that I normally do on my channel. But as many of you know, I am a firm believer if you have the ability to do shout out videos, you should do them. This particular case, I happen to have won a rather odd item on Instagram. I think it's cool. Some of you are probably going to like it. Some of you might be a little put off by it. That's okay. That's why I'm leaving the disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Uh, stick around if you want to see what's inside. Uh, if you're not off-put by the odd or borderline macabre type items, then, you know, if you don't like it, maybe tune off now. But if you do like it, stick around. Let's find out what's inside. Everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to another video from Budget Bullion Stacker, a channel that takes a budget-minded approach to the stacking of precious metals. This particular box right here, as I said in the disclaimer, there's no precious metals inside, but this is a prize that I had won on Instagram. Uh, anyone who doesn't follow Obsolete Oddities Shop, uh, go check out on Instagram. I'll roll in a photo here. Really great guy. Makes a lot of really great, like, handmade craft type items. But his items are a little bit strange. He's more into the oddities, hence the obsolete oddities. A little bit more macabre. I kind of like that kind of thing. Uh, check out his Etsy page. He's got a lot of really cool stuff for sale. Uh, also follow Junior Works. I'll roll in a page here. That's also his uh, personal uh, page on Instagram. He's a tattoo artist. Man does phenomenal work. Uh, if you do follow Obsolete Oddities, he does do live videos on occasion, so you actually get to see him making some of these items. Uh, I really enjoy watching some of his live videos. Uh, to me, it's it's kind of like a crapshoot. You never really have a clue what you're going to find him working on that particular night. So, it's always interesting. Uh, so again, a little bit of an odd item but I do like odd things. Let's just quit all the jabbering and get in here and see what we have inside. This particular item, I won this as part of a 4,000 follower giveaway. Now I think that's pretty phenomenal, honestly. You know, I think the guy's doing fantastic as far as Instagram be to have 4,000 followers already. He's screaming way, way ahead of me. So, just get everything unboxed here. Okay. Uh, broken rubber band, by the way. So, right off the bat, we have a nice beanie with the old world style double O for obsolete oddities. Again, thank you very much. This is a really cool beanie. And it being wintertime, I'm probably going to need this. He's got a nice little display box here. He actually did the finish on this box himself. Applied this piece here where he actually wood burned his logo in. It's a really nice touch. He likes to antique stuff, so, you know, it's a little beat up. But I think it gives it a good look. If you'll notice on the pouch here, that's not a sticker showing through. He actually silk screen kind of print. He's got like a stamp. So he makes his own little bags here. I think it's kind of cool. But he included some pretty cool stickers. So the Obsolete Oddities logo again. And as you can tell, some odd things. But, you know, go check him out. You might be interested. Also check him out if you're in the Las Vegas area. You know, maybe stop in if you're into tattoos. Check him out. He might even hook you up on a tattoo. Tell him Budget Boy and Stacker sent you. He might even cut you a deal. Don't know that he can, but 
So anyway, what we have inside here, wow, he's even got another little bag in here. Bro, well, you, you really hooked it up here. Got all kinds of stickers. See what else we have in here. He said he was going to put a lot of stickers in here. He wasn't joking. Bear with me here. This one in here is a little bit tight and I don't want to tear it up. But, you know, again, folks, get over to his Etsy page. He's, he's got books for sale. He's got, you know, handmade items, taxiderm type items. Uh, a lot of your, like, European mounts. Got some different types of stickers here. You, you put me to shame with your sticker game, bro. I definitely got to get my channel stickers. Get them ordered and get them in so I can start getting them out to people. And as you can see, the nice little golden surprise down inside here. Uh, I'm going to try to pull this out of here and keep it intact as much as possible. But I thought this was a really, really cool item that he was giving away. This just happens to be a bobcat skull. It is an actual skull. And just as a artistic interpretation, he painted it gold. I did kind of joke with him when he had informed me that I had won this. I was like, it would actually be really cool if it was dipped in real gold. Of course, he got a good chuckle out of that. You know, me being a stacker and all, I've actually talked to him quite a bit. And he does understand what gold costs. So he was joking. And he's like, what do I look like? Some rich tattoo artist? So we got a good chuckle out of that, but, you know, I think this is really cool. I do like odd items. I know there's, like I said, a few people might actually find this interesting. They might find it cool. Uh, he sells stuff like this on his website. Does shadow boxes. Uh, I watched him do a shadow box on an emperor moth. I'm not sure if anyone who's watching is aware of an emperor moth, but I mean, they're, they're probably this big. They're really, really large. And so he's done a nice hand-painted background, Emperor Moth in the middle, and then the nice hand-built shadow box around it. Uh, really cool. I, even my girlfriend liked it. She said I would hang that on my wall. So, you know, if, if you're into this kind of thing, get over, check out Obsolete Oddities. You won't be disappointed. Uh, if he doesn't have a lot in his store at that given moment, please come back in a day or two. He's putting up new stuff every night. But like I said in the beginning, his items are handmade, so sometimes it does take a bit of time for him to get products made, get them put on a shop, and usually once they're put up there, they don't last long. One of my favorite things that I've seen him do, as you can see by these photos I'm rolling in, is he actually does chainsaw wood carving. I really, really think this is cool. He does these really cool owls here. My girlfriend happens to absolutely love owls. I might have to be hitting you up, bro. See about getting one of these owls. I'm sure the shipping will absolutely kill me. He's also done a mystery box giveaway. He did that at 5,000 followers. And since he's already passed 5,000, here's his next mystery box giveaway. So if you're interested in winning this box, you can still get in on this. Just get over to his page, follow the instructions, get in for a chance to win. So again, go check him out. He's a really great dude. You might make a new friend. And again, folks, thank you for watching.